Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the big new news that was dropped last night while Batwoman was airing. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so sorry that this video is coming out so late. I was trying to make it but I had some issues with my microphone so it got delayed. Just like The Flash is getting delayed well, once again we're going to be breaking everything down explaining what the hell is going on with the flash and why we can't ever get to this first episode and why it's taking so long so anyway yeah the flash has been delayed supposedly and so currently right now superman and lois is still set for its february 23rd release date that is when the flash was set to come back we were super hyped, you know, currently it's the 18th of January, it's just over a month away, and we were expecting The Flash to come back, same night as Superman and Lois premieres, we were super excited, I'm sure you guys were, but now, it seems like it's been delayed again, maybe just by a week, however, it's still a delay, and it's a big shame, so, yeah. That is the main news, The Flash has seemingly been delayed again, the CW has not said anything but we'll get to that later in the video. And so, I think the main calling card right now, apart from what went down on Batwoman last night which we'll get to in just a moment, is the fact that The Flash's main Twitter handle has changed its bio. And it used to say February 23rd like Superman Lois's bio currently says on Twitter because that was, you know, there for a while now and it's been set for a long time since that last delay when we got the official release date announcement that it was coming in February, well, towards the end of February to February 23rd to be precise, but now it's gone. What it says now is The Flash Season 7 coming soon. So I'm presuming it's a very, very recent decision because, you know, what happened last night we kind of figured something weird is going on with Superman and Lois's premiere. I put out a tweet straight away when I was watching Batwoman last night. You know, I was like, okay, so this is weird. They say two hour Superman and Lois premiere event. Some people were like, oh, that's just The Flash and Superman and Lois. So it's going to be like a two hour premiere event. But there was no mention of The Flash. And at the end of Batwoman last night, they had a audio announcement saying there's going to be a two hour premiere event. For Superman and Lois, no mention of The Flash again. So it seems very likely that we're going to get two episodes at the start of Superman and Lois, rather than The Flash then followed by Superman and Lois. And so with the Twitter bio officially changed to The Flash Season 7 coming soon, it seems like they pretty much confirmed that yes, The Flash has been delayed again. And that's a huge, huge shame. And we'll get to why in just a minute, as well as the reasons I just previously said. So... Last night, again, let's reiterate this, they were promoting a two-hour premiere event, that is exactly how they worded it, on the CW on February 23rd, that was the date that The Flash was supposed to come out, and so The Flash would come out 8, 7 central, Superman and Lois would come out 9, 8 central, that's how they normally schedule their original programmings in those two-hour slots, so we're kind of like, you know, is The Flash going to be at 8, 7 central, then at... 9, 8 central, Superman and Lois comes on for two hours. That would be a weird scheduling decision, and that's why I was kind of questioning what was, you know, originally said by some people online yesterday, because I was like, this doesn't make sense, The Flash isn't gonna come on, and they're not gonna promote this as a two-hour event, and not even mention The Flash. So, yeah, it's very confusing, and I think the CW should come out, give a proper statement, rather than just announcing it on Batwoman, and literally saying nothing about it, so yeah, whilst Batman was on, this is what was shown and people were kind of freaking out about it last night. And so it was originally supposed to be both The Flash and Superman Lois premiering their new seasons. Well, in the case of Superman Lois, it's their pilot, it's their first episode ever. So obviously it's a big deal and we'll get to why it's a big deal. So two hour event, meaning that there will be two episodes combined. AKA, that means a 90 minute event because The Flash and, you know, the CW, the Arrowverse shows are normally 45 minutes, roughly around that point. So the programming will in fact take up two hours. So it is a two hour premiere event. However, it will only be 90 minutes due to adverts and, you know, American TV, they have a lot of adverts, especially the CW. You know, they pause every 10 minutes, I believe, and then they roll adverts. And so over two hours, there's going to be a lot of ads. 
but it's going to be 90 minutes worth of Superman and Lois, which is actually very, very exciting on its own. I think the only bummer here is the fact that the Flash has to be the casualty once again. And so, yes, I know what you're all thinking, Gary got it right, the Flash has been delayed again. We don't know if it's going to be later than February, but most likely it is. Most likely it is going to be coming out in the first week of March. Seems as of right now, but we'll have to wait and see until the CW announces something, because maybe they premiere the week before, but I would say that's probably unlikely, because then they would have to break for episode 2 and then come back in March at the start. So I guess that doesn't really make sense, but I guess it is maybe an option that you guys can kind of think about, theorize about. But anyway, so let's move on to the next point. So this must have been a very recent decision, considering it seems very brash because there's no announcement. And maybe they didn't expect people to freak out, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious that they put this throughout like half of the episode, you know, on the bottom right corner of the screen, it said Superman Lois two hour premiere event coming February 23rd. So I mean, it was pretty obvious. So I don't think they are dumb. and I don't think they're like, Oh yeah, people are not going to notice this, whatever, like, sure. So, I guess they knew this was coming, but maybe it was like a last minute decision. They were like, yes, screw it, we're going to pull the plug on The Flash premiering on February 23rd. We're going to have a two hour event for Superman and Lois for their premiere episode. And so, they've only just made this announcement, and I put that in quotation marks because they haven't actually made an announcement. Again, this was strictly just on the CW in text. And so, yeah, The Flash got originally delayed due to Superman and Lois being slow with their filming, and now they're delayed again due to Superman and Lois. So, I mean, it's just a kind of chain reaction. It seems like Superman and Lois is kind of pushing The Flash back further and further. And whilst I'm really excited for Superman and Lois, I do feel really bad that The Flash keeps on getting moved back because, number one, that's my most anticipated show that is coming back very soon. So I would really, really love to see it very, very soon. But at least we got Batwoman for now and Black Lightning comes back at the start of February. And then we will have Superman Lois definitely 100% with their 90 minute episode in February 23rd. And The Flash is up in the air right now, has been delayed again. And, you know, I think it's very, very unlikely this was originally planned. And so I'm kind of intrigued to see how it's going to work as a two hour premiere event. Did they craft it? Did they make it in the idea that this is going to be like a joint episode where they would play them back to back? Because I don't think so. And I think this may have been a last minute decision. I think it would have been actually smart for them to premiere The Flash and Superman Lois together. And that's the initial reason why they delayed it from a January release date, like Batwoman, so that Superman and Lois could actually reach The Flash's premiere date because they were behind on filming. That mainly due to them having to shoot a pilot, which takes considerable amount of time longer than just a normal episode. And so they've been picking up episodes recently. I believe they're about to start on episode five or six. But I'm not 100% certain on that, and I think it's very unlikely that they planned it so that the pilot and episode 2 were like a joint episode. I get that the stories are going to be similar because these shows run in a continual fashion, so I get that episode 1 and episode 2 could probably be added together. But was it originally intended to be like this? I'm going to say 90% sure it wasn't intended to be like that. And it was intended to, you know, air one week, you know, you would have The Flash before Superman Lois, and then you would have Superman Lois next week for episode two, and you would continue on from there. So what do you guys think of this craziness? I have no idea what to expect, but I expect that The Flash is going to be coming out about a week after Superman Lois, because I don't think they want to delay it much further because people have been waiting such a long time. And they want to get their episodes done and out of the way before fall 2021, where they will premiere the new seasons of our shows in October like normal. Mark Pedowitz has said this is what they want to do. They want to go back to normal scheduling from, you know, summer onwards. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new, if you want to support the channel. Also, click the join button if you want to become a member of the DC TV show and get member-only exclusive videos by clicking the join button and becoming 
a super friend today. Your contributions are much appreciated. We'll be covering shows like WandaVision, potentially Batwoman, but most likely not for a few weeks in terms of Batwoman, because if the videos do well, we're covering it on the main channel. Hopefully you guys saw my review last night of Batwoman's premiere episode for season two. Go check it out if you missed that, that was last night. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.